figure I'd kick things off here with my uh, my workflow when it comes to what I'm gonna do where. You know, where do I do certain things? Where do I use the on one apps? Um, I'm a Lightroom user. That's usually where I'm gonna start. So you know, it's a good raw editor, uh, especially for shadows, um, highlights, exposure. This is where I'm gonna do a lot of that work. You know, I can bring my highlights down, really just affect the water, which got a little bit blown out, but not too much. All right, uh, open up some of those shadowy areas here. Um, so that's gonna help out quite a bit. I'm gonna do my cropping here too because it's all non-destructive so I can rotate that around a little bit. Uh, lens corrections, that's another thing I'm gonna do here inside of Lightroom. So uh, I'll usually just go to the basic mode here and just enable some of the profile corrections. Sometimes it does something, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe fixes a little bit of, of distortion that you have in the photo, but um, this is definitely a place where I'm gonna go do that. And if I need to manually come in here and tweak anything, which you know, you, you kind of got some trees going all over the place here. So, um, you know, if I were to, I could go under basic, try the upright lens corrections. Sometimes, again, sometimes you'll see a change, sometimes you won't. But if I really need to go in here, I can, I can kind of maneuver the manual section around. And just try to get as many things as I can straight. You know, I'm not going to get everything perfect, but I can get pretty close. Uh, and when I'm done, I always click constrain crop because that crops out the rest of that junk there. But those are those are some some pretty heavy Lightroom tasks. I also always go to the whites and blacks. I hold down the option or alt key, drag the whites to the right and you kind of see a little specks there. That means I got a good white point. Do the same thing in reverse on the blacks and drag it to the left and I get a couple of little specks. So just basic changes, you know, maybe even a little bit of, of white balance here just to balance the exposure. But that's that's kind of the, the Lightroom stuff I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get that stuff out of the way first. Exposure, shadows, highlights, lens corrections, cropping, um, white balance, those are the first things I'm gonna do in the raw editor. Now, from here on out, to me, everything becomes about style. So that's where I'm gonna jump into on one. So I'll go photo, edit in, and I'll go jump into. My, my personal favorite is to go into effects. That's really where I get my style from. So I'm gonna jump into effects here. And for me, I'll choose the smart photo option because it means I can always go back and re-edit any of the changes I'm about to make. But for me, the, the style that I'm going for here, it's a waterfall, it's kind of got a warm feeling to it. So I'm gonna add to that. You know, I'm gonna go to add a filter here and I'll add the sunshine filter. That's a, a favorite one of mine, adds a little bit of contrast. I can kind of punch up the warmth a little bit. And it's also gonna add a little bit of a glow and I can even enhance that. There's some good presets here too. You can just go kind of click over or just hover over them. So I think sunshine's a good one. And again, kind of enhance the warmth a little bit. So that works for me. Uh, I will add another filter, dynamic contrast is another one that I add to a lot of things, especially with a lot of details like we have here. So I can add some dynamic contrast. I'll probably tone it back on a couple of the sliders and you know, there's an overall opacity slider for it if I wanna tone that back. But what's nice about what I can do here is, is if I've done something to part of the photo that I don't like, then I can always grab the masking brush here. So for example, I don't really wanna add contrast to the water. So I would just paint it away from the water. All right, and that's gonna pull some of that contrast off. I wanna keep the water soft, I don't wanna keep it contrasty. So I'll just pull some of that. Just paint a little bit up here and a little bit up there. All right, so that takes care of my contrast settings. Um, as I look at this, you know, there's a good opportunity up here to add a little bit more glow. So I'm gonna go to add a filter here and I'm gonna go to the adjustment brush. And let's take a look through here. So I can go to my presets. I've got lighten, which is good. I've got glow, which is kind of cool, and I've got warmer. Hmm. I'm gonna go with glow, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make the brush pretty large here just by using the right bracket key. I'm gonna increase the warmth setting because that's gonna also, it's not just gonna add glow, but it's gonna add warmth, and I'm gonna paint up here. And you see how that just adds a warm glow. If I go over to the uh, the little checkbox next to that filter layer here, if I turn it off, you can see that's before, that's after. I might also, uh, no, I'm not, I was gonna add some contrast, but we, you know what, we're gonna add our contrast in the last step, uh, which is I'm just gonna go add one more filter and I'm gonna use the vignette. And a big one for me is I go to the presets and I use the big softy. 
okay? And you can see that darkened that area up there pretty nicely for me, okay? Now, I'm done with the, the effects. This is my style, you know? This is the color and the toning. Um, this is the detail, the contrasty looks that I like to get in my photos. So this is my overall style. If I wanted to, if I realized, you know, well, maybe there's something else that I want to do, um, I could go always just jump over to Enhance right from within here, and I could tweak the shadows or the highlights or anything that I wanted to. If I, if I were going to jump through the On One apps, I can jump back and forth here. Again, I'm gonna, uh, what I told you was I'm going to get the basics done inside of Lightroom, but that doesn't mean I can't uh, enhance any of that stuff here if I happen to be in the On One apps. But for me, I'm about done uh, as far as On One goes because really that's, that's my style. This is going to be the, the stylistic process of what I add to my photo. That returns us over to Lightroom. If I'm in Lightroom and I see something that I want to do, it's no problem. Like for me, see there's a little spot down here, right? Probably a little center dust or something. So I'm going to go to the, uh, the spot removal brush and I'll just paint right over that. And so I can take care of it. There's no, there's no saying I can't come back to Lightroom and I can't do things to the photo that, um, that I didn't do the first time around. So you're not hurting the photo. You're not changing anything. You're not destroying anything. It's perfectly fine. Uh, these files are, are more than capable of handling it from our DSLRs anytime really in the, in the last few years. There's, there's plenty of information here to worry, to handle it. So I wouldn't sweat what order you do things. If you happen to forget something the first time around in Lightroom, no sweat, just do it after you come in here from effects, okay? But let's take a look here. So I'm gonna to go to my original photo. All right, I'm gonna hit reset. So that was our before photo. Let me, in fact, make it a little bit easier to see everything. That was our before photo, and that's our after. All right, so before and then after. So there's a just a quick view of my workflow, kind of an overview of the order in which I do things. You know, where does Lightroom come in? Where does the raw editor come in? And and where does On One come in? If this were a portrait, I would jump into portrait first. I would do my portrait retouching, then jump into effects to finish off the photo, and then back over to Lightroom. But as far as what I'm going to do where, hopefully that gives you a good idea that my basic toning and all those corrections are gonna be done here with the raw editor, and the stylizing is gonna be done inside of On One.